I'm building a new concept design for a bookshelf speaker, and I want to use the new touch features in SOLIDWORKS 2019. Let me show you how those work. In SOLIDWORKS 2018, we introduced a new touch mode and gesture sketching so you can sketch and add relations quickly using on-screen context menus. Well, with 2019, we've expanded those capabilities, so you can now sketch dimensional values directly on the screen to fully define any sketch as you draw. Any typical workflow can be enhanced with the touch screen using your finger or a stylus to select entities and draw basic shapes. These shapes are automatically recognized as lines, arcs, and now even splines and slots are all recognized quickly and efficiently as you draw. Now this concept sketch is coming together pretty quickly. I'll just change a few dimensions with a touch and my sketch is fully defined and ready to go with minimal or no keyboard interaction. Now that I've created this housing, I'll sketch out the holes for the individual speakers. Dimensions added anywhere on the screen while the circles are still selected adds a radius dimension to define these shapes as I go. I can drag and drop to add relations or move things around to their final position. The touchscreen functionality extends into assemblies as well. I need to position these speakers. Now, normally I would just control select two round faces, but in touch mode, you can do the same thing with the control key on your keyboard, or double click the first component to start the smart mate command. If you need to move a component, simply select and hold and allows me to reposition it on the screen by dragging. It does a great job of understanding what I want to do based on how I click or hold my stylus. Now, does everybody remember the component preview window? We introduced that in 2016. It allows you to rotate a component in a separate window independent of the rest of the assembly. It's a great feature to use when you're in touch mode. Another great use for a touch screen and the gesture sketching is for really quick mock-ups, like this circuit board. When you're building a speaker, you may have to be careful where you put the crossovers to avoid interference. So I can visually draw up my circuit board in the concept phase to make sure I'll have room.